fixed window shades. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at dynamic shades, both exterior and interior. So uh, to start, let's um, unhook the window shades that we had had, um, but we want to keep the um, windows and the zone. So um, there we go. And uh, we want to attach this set of components to the um, appropriate windows. Now in the assignment, what I've asked you to do is to experiment with running dynamic blinds on all of the glazing in the building. So what that means is that you'll want to, uh, I guess I should have included one of these guys. You want to hook up this construction to this and then plug in this um, construction to all of the um, apertures that you are want to assign blinds to. What this does is it assigns a, a blind uh, on either the exterior or the interior, so exterior, interior of the window. And um, it, uh, it will not be visualized in this uh, preview, uh, but it should, be, should show up. And you should show, see the results uh, change as a result. Uh, it occurs to me actually, just as a footnote, something I failed to mention before is that you, when you assign the apertures as custom uh, glazed windows, you need to make sure that the surface normals for those apertures face out. Uh, and so if they, uh, to test that, you can type DIR in Rhino uh, direction and press F to flip them uh, if they don't press out, uh, if they don't face out. Uh, that's a little tangent footnote. So, okay, so let's keep going with the constructions here. We've got uh, the name of the construction, which I've window shades two, and then I've got the window construction which is actually coming in from this custom window component you assigned earlier. And then the shade material, that material is defined here and it includes the name. We're gonna be modeling Venetian blinds here. So they're horizontal um, and they are 0.1 meters wide and separated by 0.1 meters. Um, they have a angle of 60 degrees, meaning that it's gonna block the sun for almost all times of the year that they're deployed. So that material is then getting plugged into the construction schedule. And then uh, the next part is the location. So as I pointed out earlier, you can uh, toggle that between exterior and interior. The control type is interesting. So this component allows you to control to automatically control the shades in a bunch of different ways it has nine different profiles for how uh, you could control it the um the the default is always on meaning that the shades are always deployed well that would create a very dark zone it would also reject a lot of solar heat um, so if you're trying to um, get daylight, uh, it wouldn't be very effective. Um, what I've pre-programmed this for is control type one, which is they're on if the high, if there is high solar on the window as measured in watts per meter squared. And in fact, this set point of 350 is 350 watts per meter squared, meaning that the shades will automatically deploy when there is 350 watts per meter squared of solar radiation incident on the glass or more. Um, so that's a pretty fair amount of sun. And my logic at least is that when there is that much sun on the window, probably people inside will want to close the blinds to prevent glare. So it's more of a visual comfort thing than anything else. Um, but this is one way to test how that um, shade works and if it's going to be effective for your um, energy use. And so I'd like you to try this to see what it's like. I'd like to try it both on the exterior and on the interior. You should see 
different results. Um, so that is pretty much it for the um, in controlled dynamic exterior and interior shades. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at daylighting and some of the results you can expect.